Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 3 of the One Season Challenge Derby County career. And remember we are staying at Derby County just for one year to see if we can get them into the Premier League. We've already bought in a couple of loanies. We've got a couple of permanent transfers pending and they are pretty big names as well. Dosberg and Mbappe. So if we can bring them into the squad that will give us a huge advantage going into the season which we've already started of course, we started pretty well and we want to continue that going on further. Now the first game in today's episode is the EFL Cup against Plymouth Argyle. Should be a game that we should be winning pretty convincingly but remember we are playing on Legendary and I'm not the best at career on Legendary but let's see how we can get on. Fingers crossed we can get through and hopefully in 90 minutes as well. It will go to extra time and penalties I believe if it is still level but let's see. Hopefully um, Darren Bent can get a goal or two. He is starting in the striking position today for us. And also guys I'd like to thank you for the, the feedback that I have had so far on this new series and for all the suggestions for the future clubs that we could go to. Um, in the coming series as well we've had quite a few so thank you for all of those keep them coming as well if you have any more clubs that you want to suggest I should go to for just the one season and what kind of um, targets we should be aiming for as Plymouth go through yeah so just let me know in the comments below uh, yeah Plymouth almost going through there almost grabbing a goal just before half time wouldn't have been the best time to concede for Derby uh, but we are in possession right now. Good defending play. And we need to push forward here. Darren Bent is the striker, as I said. From Butterfield to Bradley Johnson. And now Kamara. We don't have the full strength squad. We've put in a couple of youngsters as well in today's game. So I'm hoping that they, they can step up. There is Santos. I think he's one of the lower rated ones. And Kamara as well. Oh, great cross there from Kamara. And Butterfield was diving in with a diving header. And it is Derby County 1, Plymouth Argyle 0 in the EFL Cup. Look at this beautiful little cross. Boom. And what a header. I don't score many diving headers to be fair. So it's nice to grab one when we can. Jacob Butterfield scoring the first goal of the game. But will it be enough to get us through to the next round of this competition? Fingers crossed it is. And then we'll soon be playing the big boys in a round or two. Plymouth in possession right now. They're looking to get themselves back into this game. Trying to cause themselves a shock, of course. And we're hoping that we don't let them do that. Olsen is a little bit tired, but he's still chasing back. The ball is pulled back. The shot comes in. Blocked. Oh, no. It's falling kindly to... Who's that? Is that Donaldson? Um, I have no idea. We'll have a look shortly. But Plymouth are back on level terms. As I said, the players were looking a little bit um, tired at the back there. And boom, what a volley. Goalkeeper probably should have had that if he stayed upright. And what's this guy's name? Yeah, it is Donaldson. Ryan, Ryan Donaldson. He levels things up there for Plymouth Argyle. I do apologise. I don't know the, the names of the Plymouth players properly. And we're into the final minute. So if it stays 1-1, we are going to be going into extra time, as I mentioned at the start of the episode. And the possibility of penalties as well. Well, that's a poor finish there from Plymouth. And it goes out of play, the final whistle blows. So, it is going to be extra time and Derby County making three changes. Will Hughes coming on, Tom Ince coming on and the new Loney signing Thierry Ambrose is also coming on. So, fresh legs, young legs as well in all three of those players. And more first team starters as well really. So, the bigger names for Derby are on the pitch now and here is Tom Ince. Now Butterfield, the goal scorer for Derby of course. Bradley Johnson plays the ball over the top, finds his man. This is Kamara who got the cross in in that first half, remember. Finds Butterfield yet again. Now Will Hughes, Butterfield, nice little turn there from Jacob Butterfield. He takes on the shot, but this time couldn't get that one on target unfortunately. So the score remains 1-1. Olsen has picked up an injury probably because he's so tired. Um, let's see if he can stay on. Well, he's got to stay on really because we've got no more substitutions available to us. And we're into the second half of extra time. Here is Cyrus Christie. Now Derby pushing forward with Tom Ince. And Bradley Johnson holding up play beautifully there. Finds his man Kamara. Kamara inside. A little bit of space here for Butterfield who hits it again. The goalkeeper making a good save. And Butterfield's having most of the chances here for Derby County. And a shame it's not gone to the feet of one of the strikers. Here we are, still in possession. Here is Rob Holden, currently on loan from Arsenal to Will Hughes. Will Hughes plays it across the middle, and somebody hits it in. It's in. 
Who is it? It's Bradley Johnson with the little dink over the defender and the goalkeeper. And Derby County finally back in front, two goals to one. Will Hughes it was who played it across the middle. A little bit of bad defending there from uh, Plymouth. But look at that little ding over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. So Bradley Johnson scores his first goal in this competition this season. I'm sure he's going to get a couple of more before the season is out. Bradley Johnson then playing the ball forward for Kamara. Kamara's had a pretty decent game actually. Good cross of the ball. So we could see him playing on that left wing uh, quite a lot this season. As the shot comes in, the goalkeeper making a good save. Uh, was that Ambrose with that shot? Might have been. Just waiting for that final whistle to blow. And we will be going through to the next round of the EFL Cup. The goalkeeper holds on to it. The final whistle blows. Derby County through. Two goals to one. Plymouth, though, they had a really decent game. I feel a little bit bad for them. But it's going to be us who go through. And contract offer declined for Casper Dolberg. So it looks like we've got a little bit of negotiating to be done. And I think the Mbappe one was also declined. So we'll offer him a little bit more than they actually expect or demanded. And then fingers crossed we can bring in both Dosberg and Mbappe um, in the next couple of days. And they might even get um, a debut in today's episode if we can get these done fast enough. There we go. 4 and 5k more than they, they were initially demanding. Transfer offer for Will Hughes. From Real Madrid of all teams. Wow. 6.5 million pound of offered. I'm going to counter that. I don't really want to be losing Will Hughes. Remember, we're only here for a season anyway. Um, so, unless they offer like over 20 million, then he's staying. Because if I do get 20 million, then obviously I can replace him with somebody else. Uh, but no, no thank you. And contract offer for Dolberg has been accepted. That is absolutely fantastic. Accept that straight away. Get it confirmed. So Casper Dolberg from Ajax is going to be joining Derby County. And look at this. The Mbappe one has also been accepted. So that's two big signings for Derby in the championship. But of course, when FIFA 17 came out, these two guys weren't really that well known. Dos Dolberg more than uh, Mbappe, I guess. Um, but still, both really bigger names now than they were at the start of the season. Um, most probably Mbappe it could be um, one of the big signings come this summer in real life football. So let's continue on then as we just go through these objectives. We're looking pretty decent so far and we need some domestic success. But we've started the season um, pretty good so far as I said. And we're going to change the formation as well. Trying to play a little bit differently. I want to play with two strikers and uh, maybe with a count as well. Uh, shall we go with the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow that we normally use on foot champs? Uh, as I said, with the two strikers, uh, it gives us a good advantage, especially if we can play both Dolberg and Mbappe up front. And then we'll probably play Tomins just behind them. And there we go, Tomins is in there, Dan Ben. And where is Dolberg in there is Mbappe. I'm going to put George Thorne as CDM, Will Hughes and then Bradley Johnson will make up the midfield which is looking pretty sweet now and of course we've got Rob Holden in defence and we're going to have some decent striking substitutes with uh, Johnny Russell, Thierry Ambrose and Dave Nugent and obviously we've got Dan Bent too and Butterfield he'll be coming on as substitutions for midfield so we've got a pretty solid squad now. We are currently tied at, tied at the top of the table. And we've got Burton Albion next up. This is one of Derby's biggest rivals, of course, because of how close they are together. And both Derby's, Derbyshire sides. Who's going to come out on top of this one? Fingers crossed it's going to be Derby County. And as I am what, living in Derby, Burton Albion. Um, I remember when they were a really small club. Well, not the small, small club, but... Um, not even in the Football League. And now they're doing so well. Got themselves a new stadium in the Championship. And I think they survived this season, didn't they? Uh, if I remember rightly. So, pretty decent. And they can continue to build on. Had some big name um, managers too. So, congratulations to Burton. I'm sure they will keep on growing. And maybe one day be above Derby County. Long way to go yet though. But you never know. Let's see what we can do in today's game. Still 0-0 right now. And as you can see... We are at the end of this match. A couple of minutes to play. Still Burton Albion nil. Derby County nil. Derby in possession. 
Burton have defended really well, really limited us to pushing forward and creating chances, which is a bit of a shame, as of course it is Mbappe and Dolberg's um, debut for both players, and both of them have failed to score. Not really setting the championship alight right now, but maybe it's going to take a couple of games for them to uh, settle in at their new club, in a new country of course, and settle with this weather as well, which is not always great here in England. And there is a final whistle, so it does end Burton nil, Derby County nil, and now it's going to be transfer deadline day. Uh, we don't really have much money, more money to spend, uh, so we're just going to go through the side, see exactly who spent what. As you can see, Martinez has joined Arsenal, Lacazette has joined, well he's gone to Germany, is that Wolfsburg or Werder Bremen? I always get mixed up with those two logos, um, but Southampton, they've spent 33 million. Uh, that's pretty interesting on PZ from Benfica just going through these championship clubs I think we've spent the most at, in the championship so far just over £10 million uh, Leeds United Newcastle have spent £6.5 I'm sure Newcastle are going to be towards the end of the season be up there challenging with us well hopefully we're going to be there uh, we've had a decent start to the season so let's continue that and hopefully be there at the top when it comes May. Uh, Wolves not spent a penny. I notice Wolves are at the top of the table right now. So they've done well uh, without even spending a penny. Not even selling a, a player either. So let's jump into the next game then I guess. And it is against Newcastle United. As I said these are going to be one of the favourites if not the favourite team to get promoted in this series. Along with Derby County. Uh, but it is on Legendary. And we are at home, we've got a new signings, will either of them get their first goal in today's game? They didn't get it on the debut, but the sun is shining today, so maybe they're feeling a little bit better than they were in the last game. So here is Saj Chris then, playing the ball forward, nice bit of skill there from Thomas. We've also um, recently changed the tactics, so we are just adjusting to them, but as I said, I do use these tactics in foot champs, so my own play shouldn't differ too much and we should settle in pretty nicely just got to get used to the players in this formation and then we'll start scoring goals I'm so I'm certain and I want to try and grab ourselves an early goal well the early goal didn't come so jumping straight into the second half remember we did draw the last game against Burton Albion 0-0 but surely we've got to get a goal today as Mbappe just loses out there now Newcastle United looking to attack here and he's going all the way through the shot comes in Carson gets down low, forced to make the save, and it goes out of play for a Newcastle United corner. And John Joe Shelby, he has come on in place of Anita for Newcastle, who are still on the attack here, looking to get this cross in. Right, played short, Gufran plays it in, and the shot comes in, and again, deflected shot goes out for another Newcastle United corner. And we are struggling a little bit, so let's try and make a change or two here for Derby County. Uh, Dolberg's a little bit tired, but who shall we put on? Keo's gone off because uh, he's picked up that injury. And Thierry Ambrose is coming on in place of Dolberg. I'm going to keep Mbappe on. I was thinking about bringing on Nugent, uh, but let's keep Mbappe on. Make two changes. And the next fixture is against Ipswich, which has popped up on the screen. So Thierry Ambrose is on. Can he score? Remember, he already has got goals for Derby County since joining on loan from Manchester City. Nice bit of skill there from Tom Ince. Now the counter-attack is on here. Here is Ambrose. Fresh legs he should have. And now Mbappe, who is a little bit more tired than Ambrose, but he's still pushing forward. And now George Thorne. Oh, great challenge there. For, for a second, it might have been a penalty, but he did win the ball. And Newcastle United get the ball clear. So into the final seven minutes then. Here at the Arrow Pro Stadium, still Derby County nil, Newcastle United nil, and Derby County do have themselves a late free kick, which Rob Holding is going to take, currently on loan from Arsenal for the season. And now Tomins playing in the camp position today. See how he does more centrally. I know he normally plays out wide, but we're going to be playing him as a cam. And Ambrose plays it inside for Mbappe, who shoots and he finishes. We've stolen the three points late on in this match. Mbappe scores his first goal in a Derby County shirt. There he is. Looks nothing like him, uh, but we'll take the gener generic look right now. And it was Thierry Ambrose who played the through ball in. 
and he'll get the assist for that of course and Mbappe gets his first goal for Derby County and I'm sure there's going to be many more to come for him and Dolberg won't be happy because we did replace Dolberg earlier on in the game so Mbappe, Mbappe is one goal up on Dolberg right now we will try and give them a little bit of a competition between the two see who can come out on top at the end of the season uh, but Newcastle United with just over a minute to play looking to level things up in this match good defending there though from Derby County we just need to get this one clear wait for that final whistle to blow and we will have another victory and back to winning ways actually because we drew our last game against Burton well Newcastle still looking dangerous later on here we need to defend and concentrate Newcastle still going all the way through played in the middle good defensive block there and he's all the way through again and he's oh no He's levelled things up in the 90th minute. We were so close to taking the three points. And Newcastle United, Hanley it is who grabs that leveller. Look at the poor defending. There's a good block there originally, but he just went for the block again and totally missed the player completely. But that is FIFA 17 for you. So Grant Hanley, he scores the level. He scores the equaliser for Newcastle United. And it looks like, well, it is. There is a the final with St. Derby County 1. Newcastle United won.